I want to find out exactly what beef shashlik is. Such a good word. <laughs> You're making it today, Mark. Uh, what is it? Right, so um, little clue for you there on the board. Skewers. Okay. It sounds more impressive, doesn't beef it? Beef skewers or shashlik. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so it's an Eastern European dish. Um, so really simple dish. We're basically going to make some skewers. We've got some rump steak here, or you can use a, even a really um, a, a cheap cut of meat if you yep. want. You can use some um, uh, chuck. You just have to cook it a lot longer. Uh, and then we're going to skewer it with uh, some onions. So the, the onions are going to flavour the meat. We're going to seal them off, but it's all about this sauce, what we're going to cook it in. Mm. And wonderful sauce, lots of herbs, lots of um, sweet paprika, a little bit of spice in there, gherkins, uh, peppers, more onions, bit of mustard and tomato and stock, and that all cooks together. Together and the meat all cooks inside. Serve it with a bit of rice. Brilliant. Do you call that a pickle or a, a gherkin? A pickle and a, a gherkin. A, Could be one of both. A pickle. Whatever, or <laughs> however a you feel. For the shashlik. Pickle. pickle. Pickle for the shashlik. <laughs> Great to have you with us in the Beko kitchen and we're making shashlik. <laughs> <laughs> Which we've <laughs> found out are an Eastern European skewer. But Mark being Mark had to tongue tie me by saying <laughs> shashlik. So how do we start the shashlik? Mark? Right, we're get, so we're going to make the skewers first. So I've just got some white onion. Um, you can take the root off, take the top off, and then you just want to cut it into sort of quarters or, or roughly around the, sort of these shapes and then just sort of peel it back and get a couple of layers at a time. Great. So just like that. And then we've got some, um, we've got some meat here. What sort of meat are you using? Right, so I've got rump today. So I'm going to use rump so it'll just be, it'll speed up the cook. Um, but if you wanted to go, I mean it's, you know, it's a good price rump, it's a good, mm. uh, it's a good piece of meat. Um, if you wanted to go a little bit cheaper and you wanted to go longer and even get more flavour into it and cook it nice and slow, uh, use something like the chuck. Right. And then you get a really good, uh, a so really good chuck, chunky. not chuck. Chalk. Um, yeah, not with this, chalk. <laughs> with chalk. this, we're wanting to go. I'm guessing similar. What you want to go the same size with all your pieces because you want an even cook, right? Yeah, roughly, roughly the same size. You know, you don't need to be too pedantic, but you know, as nice as you can get it. And then yep. we'll start with the meat. Go through the skewer, cool. and then a couple of layers of onions, and really sort of pack it down, and then just keep uh, keep threading it through. So we go meat and onions yeah. right the way through with this? All the way to the top, okay. yeah. Okay, this is that I can do. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and it's a, bit, it's a bit like watching paint dry though, this part, isn't well, it? Well, I didn't want to say anything, but, you know. <laughs> no, no, when no, you've yeah. got shashlik, it's a bit of shashlik between <laughs> yeah. friends. Paint drying or not. <laughs> and then so, get to the top. Yep. And then, and there you go, and, that, and that's our skewer. And just really sort of pack it together, yep. and, and that will just, the onions will cook, and you'll just get this beautiful sort of sweet onion flavour into the meat. And Lovely. here's some I made earlier. Funny that, with the magic of television. Exactly, and then, so I put them on the plate. I've yep. got a little bit of dried uh, oregano, just to go on, that's just a bit of seasoning. I've got yep. a pan on there, which is just warming up. Nice bit of salt and pepper. Yep. You can pop some oil into the pan. Lovely. And then we're gonna start sealing these off. Now, we are going to be serving up too on this beautiful serving plate over here. I'm very excited about this because we, uh, we've got some info about this which you will love and it's a new way of doing things that means that you can put them in the dishwasher, you can put them in a very hot oven, you can even use them in the microwave. So we'll talk a little bit more about that a little bit later on which I'm looking forward to. And fantastic to. colours as well, aren't they? Yeah, absolutely. I think there's actually 20 different colours with these ones. It is the Mud Australia range and they'll look, look, this food is going to look gorgeous plated up on there. That's it. And what we say in the kitchen, it's all about presentation. Absolutely. The porcelainlounge.co.nz has got all the, the range and the stockers too if you wanted to check it out. Right, so you get the oil in there, get it nice and hot so you can, you can hear that sizzle. Yep. Pop your uh, skewers in, or your shashlik. Your shashlik. And uh, don't overcrowd the pan, you know, so that's plenty in there. So I don't want to, I don't even need to do anything with that? Like no, I can no, no, just, no. Okay. And, and because you've cubed the meat, you've got four sides almost, so okay? great. Yeah. So, I mean, so do it on that side, flip it over, do it on the other side, and then you can do it on the other side so it right. keeps nice and square. And you'll get a nice colour on all the sides, Funny. and then we're going to build the sauce up in this pan. So I didn't hear a word you were saying, because I was actually wondering <laughs> what Sean Connery would sound like saying shashlik. <laughs> a bit like Would you. it be like shashashlik? With the over, yeah, shashlik. Mish money penny. I'm being silly. See, he doesn't find me funny at all. See? Okay, we're going to get some more steps. We're going to do the sauce in there shortly. Looking forward to the plating up as well when we get our shashlik on the plate. We're finishing off this beef shashlik, Mark. Does anyone ever say you sound like, you sound like Sean Connolly?
Well, uh, even Sean Connery. Connery! Connery, <laughs> this is a bloody chef. Now, the thing is, so what we're doing, we're doing these in batches because obviously you don't want to get them overdone, you don't want to crowd them and stew the meat. We are putting them on this Mud Australia plate uh, from porcelainlounge.co.nz. And the great thing is because the, the porcelainlounge.co.nz have 20 different colours to choose from. The colour is actually in the clay, so you're getting these really deep, gorgeous colours like this green here. M Mark literally threw that food at that plate in the most <laughs> unceremonious way, and it even still looks good. But exactly, they, look how good it looks. Yeah, it does, but they put them in a really hot, hot kiln, and what it means is the non-glazed side turns essentially to stone. It means that while we're doing the batch of, the, of these, we can put the plate in the oven, we can use it in the microwave, we can use it in the dishwasher. We love that. So the porcelainlounge.co.nz, if you would like to see this plate or the massive range that they have, you can find the stockists there and the range as well. So what are we up to? That was actually a flying piece of bacon. Went straight over my shoulder. <laughs> right, right, so same pan. We've sealed off the, uh, the skewers. A yep. little bit more oil and then we're going to get some bacon in first. I'm going to start colouring the bacon as you can see here. Be careful because it does spit, it does jump out of the pan sometimes. I'm not crying, it's just the <laughs> onions. But you can see there was a little bit of um, uh, sediment on the pan, but that bacon's just taking it up, so that's all going to be flavour. Yum. Some red onions go in there now for a yep. bit more sweetness. A little bit of garlic. Great. I've got some bay leaves. Is there a rule with the garlic? Because garlic tends to cook quicker than onions, doesn't it? Yeah, you want to put, um, you just want to make sure you put your uh, onions in first. Yep. Um, if, you, if you're sweating them down, so if you're doing right. it on a low heat, okay. um, you have to put your onions in first because your garlic's got a higher sugar content, so that will burn, so just right. give it a couple of minutes. Um, we've already put it in now in there. We're, We're just trying to get as much flavour as we can out of all yep. the vegetables. Peppers go in there. And there's a beautiful colour on these, and as a wise person, possibly yourself, has said to me before, uh, colour is flavour. Exactly. Or the exorbitant amount of salt that you put on things sometimes, <laughs> Mark. And butter. As well. And butter. That's right. right so yellow. again, this is the sauce, which I'm very yep. much looking forward to going with the shashlik. Today. And that's it. So we're just we're using that heat just to break down all the vegetables, get all the flavours out there. But it's going to cook for about an hour or so, maybe right. even longer if you want. If you're using different cuts of meat, so yep. you're going to get all that flavour in there. Ooh. So take your time on this stage, about five ten minutes, just to soften everything. A yep. little bit of colour is fine. I've got some sweet uh, paprika goes in there. A little bit of cayenne for some heat. Oh, yeah. That goes in there, you can stir that around. Right, oh. some pickles. Have I still got eyebrows? Because I think <laughs> that cayenne may have dealt to them. <laughs> so, some pickles straight out of the jar, just roughly chop them. This is going to give you a nice sort of sweet and sour uh, flavour. Mm. And also the juice as well from the pickles, from the, the jar. juice from the pickles? And that goes in there as well. I've got some... Um, Look at that, I've got oh. some, some mustard. <laughs> Just mind the face. <laughs> a little bit of Dijon. <laughs> oh, that is, I tell you what, that packs a massive punch. But There's nothing left in the pan. <laughs> no, because I can't see anything, honestly. <laughs> Ketchup goes in. Right. And then I've got, some, I've got some beef stock and chicken stock in there. That goes in there, deglazes right. de 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 it all. Bring it up to the boil, we'll turn it down, we'll pop all our um, skewers back in, pop a lid on it and just cook it. <laughs> nice. I've been looking forward to this all day. It is very delicious smelling. What's on the menu tomorrow? Right, tomorrow I've got a classic Italian carbonara. Yum.